Hey guys, so we're out here in Atlanta, Georgia, shooting several tiny houses, as well as going to a tiny house festival this weekend. But for the last few nights, we've been staying in this incredible 18 foot tiny house on wheels, which is set up as an accessory dwelling unit here in the middle of Atlanta in the old fourth ward. So let's go check it out. So welcome to the inside of this Nordic tiny house. As I was saying earlier, this tiny house is built on an 18 foot trailer. So it measures 18 feet in length by eight and a half feet in width, giving us a square footage of 153 square feet. And we do have a loft upstairs that will give you some additional sleeping space, but this house is essentially 153 square feet in all its glory. <laughs> but what definitely make it feel a lot larger than it is are these big windows, this picture window behind the living area, and this other window just in front of the desk, the full light door, and the two skylights above that bring in tons of natural light at all times of the day. And in addition, the private space, the fenced in backyard that you have access to during your stay here, definitely expands that living space outside. There's a little deck out there. There are two chairs out there. So being able to go out there and enjoy a cup of coffee or go out there and read a book or just going out there to enjoy some sunlight and fresh air definitely make this 18 foot tiny house feel a lot larger than it really is. So the first thing you'll probably notice when you walk in, which was the first thing that I noticed when I walked in, is all of the wood surrounding the walls, the ceiling, the barn door, a lot of the furniture. So it definitely gives you more of a Scandinavian feel feel in its design and what works really well in my opinion is that they actually put a little bit of a whitewash stain on the wood so even though we still have that natural wood look it definitely bounces a little bit more light off of the wood and makes the space a lot brighter when you're in here with that natural light pouring in through these massive windows so it definitely even though you get that cabin vibe it doesn't feel as dark as a lot of cabins feel, which is definitely a really, really good thing. So when you first walk into this little Nordic tiny house, the first thing you'll see is this beautiful little kitchen directly in front of you. On the right hand side, we have an apartment sized fridge, which is definitely more than enough space and you'll need for a week long stay, a weekend stay. Just left of the fridge, we have a small little sink, which is just large enough to clean a handful of dishes and should be just fine for your stay here. Left of that, we have a little bit of countertop space with a Keurig and a two burner induction cooktop. They provide all the pots, pans, silverware, plates, mugs, everything, you name it, everything that you would need to cook full meals here. And best of all, my absolute favorite, and one thing I will not stop letting you guys know of about these tiny houses and these tiny spaces to stay in is that they actually provide pour over coffee, local coffee with whole beans that you guys can grind here and make your own pour over coffee here, which is just an excellent way to start my day every morning. Definitely don't be fooled by the size of this house and this kitchen. It definitely packs a strong punch. If you're interested in cooking here, then you have the option to do so. If you just need a microwave to heat things up, then you have that option too. And best of all, we're right in the heart of the old Fourth Ward neighborhood. We're walking distance to Ponce City Market. We're within a mile of Crock Street Market and the Beltline is just a couple blocks away. So you have access to some of Atlanta's best restaurants, breweries, tons of places to eat and things to do, things to see. So this is definitely a great place to be based in and you definitely won't have a shortage of places to eat or places to shop for groceries to cook here. Moving on to that side of the house, we have the little living room or living area. We have a nice, comfortable three person couch on that side with a mounted TV with Netflix any sort of streaming services that you guys should need, we have that here. And then probably my favorite part of this little tiny house is this little desk space on this side of the house with this beautiful view of the little backyard and the garden area here. It's a great place to read a book, have a cup of coffee, have your breakfast, 
maybe even do some work if you need to during your stay here. Next, directly above us, we have the bedroom loft, and that is accessible via this ladder right here that you actually move, you put it on these hooks, connect it to this bar that's connected to the loft. When you don't need it anymore, then you can unhook it and put it back on this wall, giving you a little bit more of floor space here in the tiny house. If the ladder is set in and you leave it there, it definitely can get in the way of, you know, walking through the kitchen and to the bathroom from the living room. So we basically, when we weren't sleeping, we took it off and just set it against the wall, which is much recommended. So that bedroom off is definitely a bit of a tight squeeze up there, but it's very comfortable. It has a very comfortable bed. It even has a skylight up there, which brings in natural light when you wake up, which is, I think, a much better way to wake up than to the sound of an alarm. But other than that, a really comfortable bedroom loft and reminds me of home, definitely. Now, moving on to the very last part of the tour, we have the bathroom. And this bathroom is accessible via this barn door. So we slide that over, we get access to this bathroom. It's actually a pretty good size compared to the rest of the house. So this bathroom measures about four feet in depth and about eight feet in width, which is actually about a foot deeper than my bathroom in my 20 foot tiny house on wheels that I live in full time. So just stepping in this space, the shower feels so much bigger. Definitely feels like you have a lot more space to kind of move around there, to use the restroom, to get ready, to put on your makeup or whatever you guys need to do there. Definitely feels like a lot of space and a really comfortable bathroom. On the right hand side, we have this beautiful shower with wood surrounding the walls and the ceiling with a little rain shower head. It's a really comfortable shower. They have an electric hot water heater, so you'll have plenty of hot water when you guys stay here to take your hot showers. We have a little vanity in the middle of the bathroom. It's a little bit of storage underneath and a little mirror up there. And then on the left hand side we have a flushing toilet and a little bit of storage for the towels, Kleenex, paper towels, hand towels, makeup towels, whatever you guys will need. And then on the left hand side by the vanity we actually have a long window which they have frosted glass on there. So it brings in some light from that direction and still gives you that privacy that we all need in the bathroom. <laughs> and that is pretty much it guys. That is the tour of this little 18 foot Nordic tiny house on wheels right here in the center of Atlanta. It's such a great spot. We're so close to so many great things to do here in the area. Like I said, we're located in the old fourth ward and this is set up as an accessory dwelling unit in the backyard of a single family house. We have a little private fenced in area that gives us a nice retreat to come back to with a dedicated parking spot and definitely just gives you a lot of privacy and still gives you access to the city. We are within walking distance to a lot of great areas, a lot of great places to eat, a lot of great places to walk around. So definitely if you guys are coming into Atlanta and want a nice little retreat, but still have access to the city, then this is absolutely the place to try to book. I will leave the Airbnb listing in the description below so you guys can come check this place out. I really do recommend it, especially because this is going to give you that a tiny house on wheels feeling. It's going to feel small and large at the same time. You're going to want to get outside and go and do things, which is essentially what staying in a tiny house on wheels is all about. So I highly recommend that you guys come and check this place out. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this tour, I would really appreciate it if you left this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel so we can keep connecting with people who would be interested in these tiny house tours, as well as connect you to other tiny house creators in this YouTube space. I will see you guys in the next one.